Korean tea dude is the bomb. Look at this. Natural compound found in certain foods, mostly meat, some seafood as well. Your body produces a small amount, though usually not enough. Since humans' primary source of creatine is meat, it makes sense that so many people today are deficient considering meat consumption has been going like this. Even though they told you that that was the cause of heart disease and eating a lot of cholesterol was going to blah, 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 blah. Yet, disease is up. Meat consumption is down. Anyways, this is about creatine and why you would very much want to consider supplementing with it. Every human should be getting about three to five grams a day, which is actually pretty hard to do if you're getting it from food because that's about uh, 1.5 to 2.5 pounds of red meat. And most people just aren't eating that much. Probably should, but you know, it's not very practical for most of us. The benefits though are freaking insane. Literally insane. Muscle building, protect against muscle loss, so sarcopenia, I think it's called, which is age-related muscle loss. And as you age, the single most important thing that you can do for longevity is to preserve muscle mass. Neuroprotective, brain, bone strength and repair. Fall down, hurt, break a hip or whatever, creatine. Energy and performance, obviously. Strength, longevity, and the list goes on and on. Did you know that creatine is the single most researched supplement on earth? thousands of studies and they all pretty much unanimously show benefit. The stuff is amazing. And what I want to do is I want to bring it to the masses. I want creatine to be an everyday supplement. That's what I think it deserves. It's rightful place next to the multivitamin and like whatever else stuff people are taking on a daily basis. Creatine should be right up there. And older and middle-aged adults, like creatine's like, like what, what? a must. It's like breathing. It's like water.